we will be opening up SDS2 and learning how to create a new project and change into another project. We'll be setting up some initial settings for our project, such as our job name, our fabricator name, setting our default units, our default design method, going going over our approximate number of members, job north, our joist manufacturer, and our default shape file. At this point, we're ready to get our new project created. So if you have an icon on your desktop, let's go ahead and open up SDS2. You can just click on the SDS2 2021 icon, and you'll be greeted with this select job window. The reason we're greeted with this window is because we don't have any jobs created in SDS2 currently. Uh, if you did have a job created, you would go directly to the home screen of SDS2. Uh, right now, we want to create a new project, so if you are at the home screen, all you need to do is click on the job in the upper left corner of the home screen. You'll get the select job window, and then once you're here, we can go ahead and click on new, and we'll be greeted with our create new project window. So the first thing we can do here is give the job a name. In this case, I'm going to call mine 2021 online training. And then going through this window, the first option we have right below the job name is the option to copy job from. If this option is checked on, this will allow us to select a job at which we want to copy the job information from. So this would allow us to bring up the job settings from project to project. If the copy job is checked on, the fabricator name will automatically populate from the previous job. In this case, we're not going to have that checked on, so we can change the fabricator name to be whatever we want. In this case, I'm just going to click inside of this field and it's going to automatically populate with to be the same as my job name, which is going to stay as 2021 online training. And then below that, we have the same option to copy fabricator from if we would choose to do so. Below that, we have our project information. So the first thing we have under here is units. Do we want to set our project up to be using imperial units or metric units? In this case, we're just going to choose metric units, which is going to be in millimeters. Below that, we have an option to specify what our round cut dimensions are. We can specify one millimeter or five millimeter. And this applies when the primary dimension units are set to metric. It sets the rounding method that connection design will apply when setting lengths and widths of shear plates, bent plates, end plates, auto base cap plates, stiffeners, and some other things. Below that we have our design method. Depending on what your license is set up for, you may see some different things inside of here. What these are up top for me is our ASD 15th through the 9th edition. We have some LRFD codes. For the sake of this project, what we're going to want to do is find the India design method and choose India. Next option is our flavor. This applies to our custom properties. And for this training, we will not worry about what our flavor is set to. We're just going to go ahead and leave that set to default. Next is our approximate number of members. The note down here says the approximate number of members should be slightly larger than the number of members you expect to have on the job. To look at this further, I'm going to bring a slide back up. So for our approximate number of members, we want to estimate the approximate number of individual members on the job, and not the grouped quantities. We want to increase our estimated number of members by 10%. The larger the amount used, the more disk space allocated, which means slower, the slower the job may run in SDS2. And if you don't enter in enough members, the program will prompt you for file size changes. So if you enter in a thousand, for example, and you go over that mark, SDS2 will prompt and tell you that you need to allocate more space for more members. For this project, we have our approximate number of members set to 1,000, which is going to be plenty for what our project is going to be. So I'm just going to leave that set to 1,000. 
degrees for job north, we will leave this set to zero for this project. Our joist manufacturer, we can specify to either be default, K&M, or Volcraft. For this training, we're going to leave that set to default as well. Next is our shape file source. If we were copying our job information from, and we have a specific job, we do have the option to use the source project information, or we can browse to use the other shapefile source. In this case, we're going to use the other shapefile source, and I'm going to browse. And the file that we want to be using is the India underscore all file, which should be set by default when you choose your design method. Um, but if you're not seeing that down there, you want to go ahead and browse and click to the India all file and say open. And then the last thing we have is our template source. For the sake of this training, we're not going to worry about templates, so we're just going to leave this set to the default. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and click OK at the bottom of the screen, and this will create the new project, and it'll take us to the home screen of SDS2.